Hi, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Lindy and I work for the County of San Diego. We live in an increasingly digital world and there are many applications and websites that can make your daily experiences more convenient and enjoyable. So today I'm going to share with you a great free resource called Focus To Do. Focus To Do is an app that allows you to practice time management and ensures that you get your task completed on time using the Pomodoro method. Please note that due to updates and changes to the Focus To Do app, what appears in this video may look somewhat different from what you see on your device. Before we get started, I want to remind you that you can pause or rewind the video at any time. Feel free to grab a pen or pencil to write down the steps or follow along on your mobile device. Please note that although the images in this device are from an iPhone device, it should look similar on an Android device. Lastly, due to continued updates to the Focus To Do app, what appears in this video may look somewhat different from what you see on your device. Let's get started. The first step is to download the Focus To Do app on your device. On Android devices, you can find the app through Google Play symbolized by this icon. On Apple devices, the app can be found through the App Store, which looks like this. Once you have opened the app, look for a magnifying glass and tap on it. A search bar will pop up where you can type in Focus To Do and press Search. The app will look like this. Then click Install. Once the app has downloaded, click on the app. You'll be met with this page. Signing up is not required to use the app. However, if you would like to sign up or sign in if you already have an account, click on the Sign In Sign Up tab in the upper left hand corner which will lead you to this page on the right where you can sign in or sign up with an email and password. If you click sign up, you'll be directed to this sign up page that will allow you to enter your email and create a password. On this main page, you will see your tasks categorized by the day you would like to work on the task and the plus sign to categorize your tasks by a new project or subject. We will go over both functions during the video. If you have a task that you want to start now, you can click the circle symbol with the number 25 to begin a Pomodoro cycle. The Pomodoro cycle sets a timer for you to work on your task for 25 minutes. Once the 25 minutes are up, a five minute timer will be set for you to take a break. We will go back to this timer later in the video. First, we will go over categorizing your tasks by adding a new project or subject. On the main screen, click on add project and type in the subject or category of your choice where it says new project name and assign a color. Project choices can be school subjects, gardening, cleaning, or self-care. You can do these steps multiple times if you would like to add multiple categories or subjects. Once you have created a project, it will bring you back to the main page where you click on the project you just added. Here, it is labeled science. Once you have tapped your subject, you'll be brought to a screen that looks like this. Click the gray plus sign to add a task and type in a task you would like to complete for this subject. Tasks to complete can include things such as studying, watering plants, or writing in a journal. At the bottom of the screen, you will see gray clock symbols. These will allow you to decide how long you would like to spend on this task during the day. Each clock represents 25 minutes of working on the task and a five minute break or one Pomodoro. In this example, I have clicked on one clock to spend 25 minutes on one task and one five minute break. The green sun symbol allows you to change the day you would like to work on your task. To change the day you would like to work on your task, tap on the green sun. An option of today, tomorrow, seven days later, and someday, which means there's no specific day that you would like to work on your task, will pop up. Select the time of your choice by tapping on one of the symbols. To change the priority of your task, tap on the gray flag. An option of high priority, medium priority, low priority, and no priority will pop up. Select the priority status of your choice by tapping on one of the symbols. To change the category of the task, tap on the colored circle with the word next to it. Here, it is science. 
and select the project or subject that you would like to categorize the task under. Once you have selected a priority status and category for your task, click Done, and you'll be brought to a screen of tasks. You can repeat these steps of adding a task multiple times if you would like to add more tasks. To start working on your task, click the play symbol on the right side of the task you would like to work on. After you hit play, you will then be led to this timer screen, where you press start to begin your first Pomodoro cycle. Once 25 minutes has passed, a sound will play from your phone and you will be given a five minute break timer. Your screen will look like this. Press start to start your break. Once the five minute break is up, another sound will play and you have finished one Pomodoro. To go back to the main screen, click the arrow on the upper left corner. Next, we will go over categorizing your tasks by day. In this section, you can select if you would like to assign yourself a task to complete by today, tomorrow, or the future. Click on the option that best suits when you would like to do your task. For this video, I will be showing you how to create tasks for today. Tap here to continue. Tap the gray plus sign to begin to add a task. The tasks that you see here are pre-programmed in the app as examples of tasks that can be inputted. Once you tap the gray plus sign, your screen will look like this. You can type in the name of the task that you would like to work on for the day in this box. In this example, the task is study chapter one. If you would like to edit your task, tap and hold on the task, then slide your finger to the left. Three circles will appear. The orange circle with a flag allows you to mark your task's priority from high priority to low priority. If you would like to change the due date of your task, tap the purple circle with the calendar to change the due date to today, tomorrow, seven days from now, or someday. If you would like to delete a task, tap on the red circle with the trash bin to delete the task. To go back to the home page, click on the arrow in the upper left hand corner. From the home page, to change settings, click the Sign Up, Sign In tab at the upper left hand corner. Here, you will see the menu that allows you to change the sound the timer makes when the time is up or adjust the time of each Pomodoro cycle. For help or guidance on how to troubleshoot the app, continue to scroll down on the settings page. Here, you will find usage guidance for more information on how to navigate the app or contact information of the app developers under help and feedback. Thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other how-to videos. These training videos were created to advance the Live Well San Diego vision for a region that is building better health, living safely, and thriving. Thank you, and continue to live well, San Diego.